You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Salah to settle it! In front of the COP! Right then, welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. I'm here with Ben from Seagull Social. Massive yeah. result for you today, mate. 3 0 winners much. against Liverpool. Now, I am going to come to you. I'm going to get with you in a sec, but I just need a minute, right? Yeah. <coughs> Obviously, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the COP TV if you haven't already. Rival fans, get your popcorn, get your tea. Yeah. Ready. Um, how do I sum up that performance? Well, it was a fucking disgrace. Um, toothless, no conviction, no fight, no passion. It was shit! Um, th listen, I, I could just reel off a load of swear words. I'm not that kind of person. I don't do the whole shouting thing just to get views. <laughs> <laughs> I let it, but if I don't laugh, I'll cry. And right now, I feel like we are so far away from where we used to be. We can't even see. We can't see. Um, can't he see? 6-3 on aggregate this season to Brighton. You have to give the respect to them. But Liverpool are in a very, very down place right now. Um, that was the worst performance I've seen this year. Obviously, we're only in January, but there's a few other contenders <laughs> already. But we've now lost two games in a row to Brentford and Brighton. And again, all due respect to Brighton, I'm not going to dump on their name. They, they didn't even surprise me that you won this yeah. game because Brighton have now gone above Liverpool in the table. But I am so disappointed with that result, the performance. I can't remember us having one shot on target. I can't remember us threatening. I can't remember us controlling the game. The subs, what can I say about the subs? Let us know in the comments that what you thought about that quadruple sub. Maybe the only positive I can take is Ben Doak having a little go winning a couple of corners, but defensively, and especially in the midfield, which again exposes the defence, it's just so, so, so shit. So bad. And again, I've just done the show on DR Sports, the Saturday football show. I was very, I held it together. But, Professional. But right now, mm. I could go mad right now. I could smash this whole place up right now. That's how I feel. But let me talk to you now. I've said enough. Liverpool were shit. Brighton Correct. were very good. Correct. And you must be very excited. Absolutely buzzing. Um, I think, yeah, I said I called it 2 all. Um, did not expect 3-0. Um, I d also didn't expect the Liverpool to just kind of not turn up. So many big players that we've seen in the past do so well, they didn't turn up. Um, no Darwin Nunes, obviously. That could be a big factor, that you didn't have any excitement or anyone to look to to do anything <laughs> on the pitch. Like, we didn't even see much from Salah, from Gakpo. And Brighton played them off the park. We've like we have done. We've done so well this season, of course. But um, yeah, I think we've had a lot of compliments Brighton recently. But it did help that Liverpool just didn't turn up. It was a very, very, very poor game from from the Reds. Yeah, you mentioned the the Nunes injury, which is now a lot more understandably big now that we haven't seen him play. Because when he does play, we know what he can do. But he's out for an unspecified amount of time. We don't even know what the injury is. Van Dijk's obviously yeah. gone, which means that Joel Matip and Kanate played together at the back today, which was, I think, the only time they've started together, or sorry, played together in a partnership, was in the second half of the Brighton game. Sorry, the Brentford game, oh, where right. we conceded more goals. So that partnership for me isn't going to work in the long term. We need Virgil back, and now we even might need to look at some centre backs in the summer as well. In terms of play ratings, I wouldn't give anyone higher than a two. And that's generous, wow. mate. <laughs> Allison, poor. Could have maybe done a bit more for Solly March's first goal. The second goal was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I can't blame Allison. Great finish. And maybe blame Robertson for not getting tight enough. The third goal from Danny Welbeck. Mate, I mean, that Jesus goal, Christ. If you've seen that goal, if you haven't seen that goal, go and look at it now. Oh, actually, after this, of course. But Wele flicks the ball over Joe Gomez's head with an unbelievable finish. It was such a good goal from Welbeck. Something that, we, yeah, we really, really haven't seen from him. Or expect from him. You would never expect Welbeck to pull out something like no. that. But listen, again, I, I'm not going to aim any chat here at how bad Liverpool were. It's all going to be about how good Brighton were. Um, we've now lost six games this season. We've scored 34 goals. We've conceded 25. Goal difference of nine. Brighton is higher. More points on the table than us. As things stand, I can't see Liverpool finishing in the top six let alone the top four. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to think, will they finish above Brighton this season? Um, I think they probably will. 
they will still they've, they've got you've got enough quality in that team to come back and do something of course we do like big we, we need a big run to to happen yeah. now with the injuries that we've got i can't see the consistency of the starting 11 being the same for a long period of time obviously Klopp is going to have to and he's being forced to now switch it up but Cody Gakpo tonight was or tonight today was invisible against Salah a Salah right was back a that ghost. wasn't even a right yeah. back Pascal Gross isn't even yeah. a right back we didn't have a right back on the and again this again. is all credit to Brighton for for, for nullifying these threats mm. the Ox was I, I don't think the Ox should maybe ever play in, in a number nine role for Liverpool ever again. again maybe well maybe <laughs> I don't think he would be playing ever again if, if all of our players were fit. Yeah. If Jota was around Diaz, Nunes, we wouldn't play. We wouldn't play. It's what we Ox. spoke about on the show earlier. It's, look, the, it's just Klopp is very loyal to these players that have done so well for him. So he's always going to give them another shot when they need to step up. But he needs to be ruthless and get rid of some of these older players that have done, done him proud in recent years but are not doing it anymore. And he needs to kind of move on um, if he wants to be a great and rebuild under Liverpool. Mate, it's so frustrating, honestly. I've never felt this low. Do you know what? This is actually the worst I've felt after a result. For a, and we've had some bad results, bro, mm. in the last year like or two or three. Like yeah, your your <laughs> cloud nine. Your your ear to ear smiles as you should be. I've got hands in my pockets. You can see by my body language. I don't even want to be here. I don't even want to be doing this video. I was hoping for a draw today. Mm. I was hoping for a draw. And deep down, I knew we'd lose this game. But to lose 3-0 in that fashion... Yeah, that fashion. There's no fight, there's no determination. You can list off all the words. Bring out all the classics. We didn't show any of it today. Liverpool, it's a bad time to be a Liverpool fan. Don't forget, Tuesday we go on my birthday as well, by the way. As if it wasn't bad enough. We've now got to go to Wolves to replay an FA Cup tie. Oh. And then after that, next week, we've got Chelsea at Anfield in the 12.30 kickoff. Trust me, Hot Copics on Tuesday is going to be explosive. Um, and there's not really much else to say, apart from, again, I'll, I'll emphasise it again. Credit to Brighton. They deserve to beat us. Right now, they're a lot better football team than we are. De Zerbi did the, did the business today in, in big style. You saw Klopp give him a, a very generous hug slash uh, uh, you know, embrace at the end. But for Liverpool, that is the worst performance I've seen in years. To, I mean, we've played at Forest, right? We lost 1-0. We had loads of chances. We should have scored. We weren't clinical at all. Lost to Brentford again. Nunes goes around the keeper. Could have been a different game. Yeah. In all these losses, we've had chances. There wasn't one chance today, which is not acceptable. And I'm sorry, questions have now got to be asked of the manager. Um, no way am I saying it's time to go. I wouldn't do that on this channel, that, and I don't believe that. And I wouldn't even say it if I didn't believe it. But... He's got to think, he's got to sit down, be backed, which he hasn't been, and go again and, and try and salvage something from this season now because it's getting to the point of this season being a write-off now. Mm. And I'm disgusted at that performance. Let me know in the comments what you think. Big up to Ben for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers, man. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. I, I wish I could be happier, but the situation is the situation. Liverpool were all for. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to The Cop TV, the voice of football's most famous stands, for a lot more Liverpool content. Remember to check out our Shopify store for this beauty and much more. It's the new Luchito's Way Diaz t-shirt based on Luis Diaz and Carlito's Way. It's out now, designed by Ruby. And there's going to be so many more. There is. Make sure you're involved. Go and buy this now. And use the Cop TV 15 for a little discount if you want.